there, I'm Amanda. Welcome back to Five Minute Cantonese. 大家好，我系 Amanda， 欢迎收睇五分钟广东话。Today, let's talk about one very essential food item. Uh, uh, it's not rice. We have already talked about that. Hmm, it's one of my favorite food. Hey, let's get started. I guess some of you have followed me for three years. Yes, actually, we have talked about egg in this vlog. So I'm not going to repeat all the vocabulary there. So for scrambled egg, boiled egg, sorted egg, it's in this lesson. Okay, today we learn something new. First of all, let's take a look at egg. Okay, normally we will talk about chicken egg. So for egg in Cantonese. We say like this: 鸡蛋，鸡蛋，鸡 means chicken. 蛋 means egg. So let's take a look at the egg. It consists of several parts. First, the egg shell. 蛋壳，蛋壳 Yes, it translates directly. 壳 means shell. Okay. 蛋壳 ，of course. If it's chicken egg, you can also say 鸡蛋壳，鸡蛋壳。All right. How about this? Okay, egg white. Okay, the interior part, egg yolk. In Cantonese, yes, we say egg white and egg yellow. However, the tone is slightly different. Remember how to say white in Cantonese. Yes, we say white color. Ba sick. How about yellow? Wang sick. So white. Ba yellow. Wang. However, when we say it white, the tone of white will change to tone two. So for it white, dan ba. Okay, if you say 蛋吧 is also understandable, but it's more like protein. Okay, protein 蛋吧汁蛋吧汁 So I would say you better say 蛋吧 Okay, is more understandable. However, for egg yolk, you must change the tone to 蛋黄蛋黄 Nobody will say 蛋黄 is wrong. Okay, egg yolk. 蛋黄 We have already learned how to say boil egg and scramble egg in this lesson. How about fried egg? Fried egg, we say, 煎蛋煎蛋 There's another very local term, 荷包蛋荷包蛋 Now let's learn some verb related to egg. So first of all, what is this action in Cantonese? Yeah, to beat it. 打蛋打蛋 So now, how about to risk it? Okay, to risk the egg. 发蛋发蛋 How about to peel the eggshell? Yes, when you eat the boiled egg, you need to peel the eggshell off. So how to say to peel? Mo, mo. So to peel the eggshell, you can either say mo gai dan ho, mo gai dan ho, or mo dan ho, mo dan ho. Very good. Now, if I ask you to relate the egg with one particular number, which number will you choose? Yes, egg is oval shape. It looks like number zero. There is a very interesting term in Cantonese. When your examination score zero mark, you can use this expression. Si dan, si dan. Yes, literally to eat the egg, but 
In terms of the examination, it means your score is zero. Now, you try. How to say this? Why your examination score zero mark every time? Yes, I know it's quite difficult. Let's break it down. Why? Dim guy. Dim guy. You. Nay. Nay. And then every time. Chi. 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 Examination. How. See. How. See. Okay. We'll use this term in Cantonese. Do is like again, okay? Get zero mark. Sick dan, sick dan. Dim gai nei chi chi hao si do sick dan. Dim gai nei chi chi hao si do sick dan. Very good. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this lesson today. If you want to learn Cantonese with me, please subscribe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more worksheet and supplementary or do exercise, please, please support my Patreon page. See you next time. Bye-bye. Hatsuki.